Hey guys, it's Adrian, and I haven't been around much lately, as you may have guessed. So, yeah, that's what this is. I'm eating crackers, because um, I'm a starving student, and I don't have food in my house except for crackers that I bought when I bought soup. So, delicious crackers. Because I've, I've eaten the soup already, so now I'm all up with this crackers. What else is new with me? Um, as you guys may or may not know, I work at Glue Studios now. And if you do want to see more of me on YouTube, we put a weekly show up there. Plus we do like shorts and other random stuff. So you can go take a look. The link will be down there. Or you can just click anywhere on the screen. I'll just have the annotation on the screen the whole time. And you can just click anywhere and go there and take a look at those. And they're high energy and well written and fun and funny and informative and neat, I guess you could say. They're um, largely inspired by Like Totally Awesome and uh, The Philip Franco Show. The very kind of same feel style except me doing what I do. Um, as you can guess, my house is freezing. I'm wearing a scarf and a sweater and um, yeah, it's, it's very, very cold in my house. Um, I did receive mail over the last while and as you can see, I have that and this. And I had a couple other things that I haven't put up here. I've been meaning to write people back, but life is so crazy, I don't have time for that. I'm uh, working six days a week, well, between school and work, and it's usually about 65 hours a week of working in school, which is insane in my mind. I just uh, I just don't have time for anything. I, I go to work 4-9, and I get off at like 7 or 8 and uh, it takes me an hour to get to and from work so yeah so I leave my house at 8 o'clock in the morning and I get home at like 8 or 9 o'clock at night kinda crazy but uh, the job is amazing and I I'm, I'm loving life right now but um, I started reading Looking for Alaska which is kind of a neat neat uh, thing for me because I was recommended by a lot of friends I'm, I'm having a hard time getting into it but I'm sure I'll push my way through it and I'll finish reading it. Uh, Looking for Alaska will be my fifth book I need to read this year for my 365 Days in 20 Ways Challenge, which has been it's coming along slowly. I have uh, I pretty much set myself up to fail for a couple of them. Like, uh, well, set my, that's the wrong way of putting it. Uh, going to see my mom uh, just didn't happen. I guess you guys don't know because I didn't make a video. I didn't manage to go home for Christmas. I just didn't have money to go home and so I ended up just staying in Vancouver which on one hand was good because I ended up getting extremely sick right before Christmas and stayed at home and slept for four days straight which was nice. I kind of wish I could sleep for four days straight now but yeah. I'm done school in May which will be good because in May I'll be going full-time with Glue Studios hopefully and I'll be just doing that. And I said it before, I'll say it again. Go take a look at Glue Studios, um, the like YouTube channel. I, I'm on there all the time. I'm guaranteed one like high quality production value video coming out of there every single week. Uh, it's sort of like news shows, but they're really fun. And we have other like random skits we do. We've been trying to film lots of like shorts um, all over the place. Plus we're, uh, we just released like a couple giant projects that we're doing some behind the scenes stuff for. So yeah, that's, I don't know what my life has become. Um, outside of that, yeah, life is... I feel pretty pretty boring these days, even though I've been working on some pretty big stuff. I've been working on a whole bunch of films, which has been really cool, but you know, it takes a lot out of you. It's uh, surprising when you actually start getting down to what it takes to make an actual film. It's a lot of work to make it good. And I, I now, you know, whenever like a movie's being made and people are like, oh, this movie's shit, or like, you know, movies nowadays, people don't know how to make good movies. And I'm like, no, no, no one sets out to make a shitty movie. Guarantee you, not a single person that's out there making movies is like, I want to make a shitty movie. Not the case, ever. Like, actual big production, like, I've, I've been working on a short, um, short film um, for a student. And... Uh, we've been working on it for over two months already, and we just finished filming it. We haven't even touched editing. Um, and it's been like two months of, of production slash pre-production. And that's like two months of, you know, 20, 30 hours a week just putting into that to get it done. And then when we were actually filming, it was like 12 hour days for six days straight. No one, no one sets out to make a bad movie. Movies that turn out really bad are just because things didn't get done right or because a producer wanted something specific I guess and 
I don't know. It's a lot of work, surprisingly. I can just imagine what it would be like to work on a multi-million dollar, you know, film compared to like a student film that's has like three thousand dollars for a budget. So, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll be directing a, another short film, something a little bit better, in uh, about a month from now. We're gonna see how that pans out because I'm only have like two and a half months left of school. So, uh, if we can get that done through the school, that'd be awesome. If not, I'm sure I'll direct something through uh, Glue Studios. Uh, we have a couple shorts that we want to do. I keep bumping the table here and shaking the camera. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's kind of been been my life. If you guys uh, want to get a hold of me, um, I have Skype. You guys can throw me on Skype. Uh, it's Joe Cat of Catland. Surprising. And uh, yeah, I, I try to respond to people. You can just send me messages on there, and I try to respond to people in the morning. Normally, when I get up, uh, I try to have like a cup of coffee and shove food in my face and I usually reply to people um, when I first get up. Um, yeah, what else? Um, that's about it. Uh, I'll try to make more videos more often. They're probably gonna be a lot of like these just kind of like me sitting in front of the camera talking like videos which which are fine. I know I'm sure you guys I'm sure you guys probably actually like these. Uh, I think that's the main reason why a lot of people start doing them is kind of this like vlog and just kind of saying hey guys it's me doing stuff and yeah that's about all I know um, sorry for a lot of people that I, I am good friends with um, there's a lot of you I have a lot of people I subscribe to that I really love watching and I just I don't have time to watch videos for the most part so I try to watch stuff here and there but if I don't have time to comment I'm sorry it's because I just quickly watch the video and I have to like head out of the door normally um, or it's like 2 in the morning and I really should be in sleep because I have to be getting up at like seven, which is surprisingly normal. Um, yeah, there's other things that are kind of coming down the pipeline um, for what might be going on. I'd, uh, I I want to potentially move out of this place and move into another place. I have a couple of roommates or a couple of friends that would uh, are interested in becoming roommates, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, I'm going to VidCon. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, I went last year. So anyone that's going to be there, feel free to say hi. Um, if you guys haven't checked out, um, I have another project coming up mid next month that I'm doing with Speedy Reedy TV and Russ the Busker, um, along with uh, I think about four or five other YouTubers. Uh, I don't have names locked yet. Um, you probably see words popping up here. I'll probably check it out after this video. And yeah, we're going to be doing that, so go take a look at them, um, specifically Speedy Read TV, because he's the one that's actually organizing it. And it's going to be um, an awesome kind of video thing we're going to do. I'm not sure if he's announced it yet, so I'm not going to announce it in this video. But uh, yeah, go pester him and find out what he knows if you want to know more about it. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's all I really have for today. Uh, it, was, it was nice to say hi again, I guess. <laughs> it was nice to... Nice to film a video, uh, even though I film videos all the time, just not in my house, not on my own. I normally, when you know, having to write a full-on script for something and then figuring it out and filming it and then going and getting all my data for it. My data. I say data. No. Uh, yeah. Videos are, uh, yeah. So, if you do want to see more of me, go check out Glue Studios. Uh, I highly recommend it. We're, it's fun. You see more of me in my smiley face. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Um, this is Adrian. You've been watching Joe Cat of Catland. Until next time, ciao!